the 49ers, I think, have have depth issues on both sides of the line of scrimmage. And I and I'm more concerned about the mm-hmm. defensive depth because the offensive line depth is only comes into play if um, your guys get hurt. I mean, your offensive linemen typically play the whole game. I I was debating with Greg Papa today after practice. You know, who would be their three if they go with eight linemen? Who are their three backups? And I, I think it's probably Felicia. I, I had it down pre Raiders as Feliciano, Zakel, and probably Jalen Moore or somebody or a third or a tackle that you have to trade for. Mm-hmm. Now, after watching that game, I would say it's Feliciano, Il Manning, and they'll probably still trade for a tackle. I yeah. think Manning, who can play left tackle, he did at Hawaii, was serviceable in this game. And he's more of a center guard prospect as far as his height and arm length and that kind of thing. So, because he's 6'2, 295, he's not 6'6, 325. And so, I think Ilmo has shown that he can play tackle in a pinch. And then you got Feliciano inside. Um, and I think they'll trade for a, a third swing tackle. I don't think it's going to be Jalen Moore, Pryor, uh, Leroy Watson. Uh, none of those guys really, I think, are the. Are going to do it, and as far as the D line, I mean, the D line depth is an issue as well. I mean, yeah, inside and outside, and your D line depth is kind of a unique issue because those guys play. I mean, Ebukam, Amenigu, and Willis averaged ninety one snaps per game in their in their three playoff games. So you know they lost quite a bit when they lost those three guys. 